Hello everybody, Dan here with The Wealth Instinct. I wanted to share with you my latest article, 10 Reasons People Fail at Affiliate Marketing. If, But first, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, that way you'll get notifications whenever I put up new content. I share a lot of articles about online business, affiliate marketing, and personal development and mindset. So affiliate marketing um, is... a uh, is it's pretty amazing way to earn money. The top earners um, make ridiculous amounts of money, but the truth is that something like 90% of people that get into it never make any money. And you know, when you first hear that, it's it might be kind of intimidating, but there's actually some really good reasons that people fail to earn money doing affiliate marketing. And if you learn those reasons and make sure that you don't make those mistakes, then um, you have a much greater chance of having success. So the first reason I have here is not having a cohesive strategy. So what happens a lot is people hear about affiliate marketing, they go grab a couple of affiliate links, and then they start sharing them and putting them on social media, and and they don't really have a, a strategy for how to do it. So you need a strategy, and there's a lot of different strategies that can work. But you really want to pick one that is proven to work, that someone else or many people have gotten success with, and then you want to implement it um, and not just try a bunch of different things that could work and try to paste together your own strategy. You want to find something that's, that you know will work and follow it. Um, not focusing on your niche. So, you know, you might think, oh, I can earn a little money on this product and a little on that and get 10 products or 100 products and try, and try to earn money that way, but it's you're gonna be caught up in the noise that way. You, you need to establish some authority and in order to do that, you need to focus on a niche. Um, and because people generally don't buy on the first click, they don't buy up front. They need time to learn about who you are before they're gonna be willing to trust you and buy from you because, you know, there's so many scammers out there and and um, people fishing. So you, you need to you need to show that you're legit and and that takes focusing on a niche and developing an expertise. Not collecting emails. So this is you know kind of the rookie mistake. People get a link and they just send traffic directly to it, and um, you're basically throwing away your most valuable asset and your biggest revenue source because. Most people don't buy up front, they buy in the follow up. And so you need to have um, a way to collect emails and you need to have follow up campaigns so that your customers can get to know you and learn about you and you can share all the valuable knowledge and content you have with them. And then once they get to know you and they realize that you're legit and you're trustworthy, then they'll start buying from you. But you gotta, you gotta be collecting emails from the beginning, you know. You know, a, a huge email list starts with one email address, right? You've got to start somewhere and, and just start building slowly over time. Same with, you know, social media followings and subscribers and all that stuff. Not doing keyword research. So this is a big mistake people make. You have to get in the head of your customer and understand what it is they're searching for, right? Because if they're going to find your content, if they're going to find your links, you have to come up when they're searching for whatever it is they're searching for. So you've got to figure out what keywords are they searching for, what queries are they putting in Google, um, and then target those in a strategic manner so that you get more traffic. And um, you know, and there's a lot of tools to do this. There's free tools, there's paid tools, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but you need to have some way to do keyword research and have um and be creating content around those keywords. Not getting enough support. So I think this is a really common mistake with um, with with people getting into this is, you know, there's you can do so much as a solopreneur, you know, by using automated tools and leverage. It's you, it's really amazing what you can accomplish just sort of quote unquote on your own. But you need some kind of support group. You need like a mastermind group or a coach or some some area where you can go to and get help when you need it because no one has all the answers no one has 
you know, we all have unique skills and we all have areas where we need support. And sometimes we get frustrated, sometimes we're stuck. You need somewhere to go for that. And um, that's really critical to find a good support group, find a mastermind group, find or create one if you don't have one. You know, often, often you know, people that get into this, their friends and family don't really understand what they're doing and aren't there, aren't, are not supportive. So you need to find a group online or create a group that, that's going to be able to help you um, to learn faster and, and make it more fun. You know, stuff's more fun when you have uh, friends and colleagues who you can share your wins and, to, and success with. Not knowing your audience. So it's really important to, to know who your ideal client is. They call this an avatar. And you want to know, is it a man? Is it a woman? Are they old? Are they young? Are they middle-aged? Are they, um, are they, you know, a office worker? Are they a, a tradesperson? Um, what, you know, you have to know as much as you can about them. You want to know what frustrates them, what their pain points are. You want to know what their hopes and dreams are. You want to know um, kind of what pop culture references you can share with them that they're going to get and, and um, most people end up or start off basing their ideal client or ideal customer on themselves, and that's fine. Um, but take the time to, to, in your mind, create a vision of that person. You know, if it's single moms who are working from home, you know, think about, you know, what do single moms working from home struggle with? What do they need help with? What are they searching for? Um, and, and then all your content, all your videos, all your blogs are going to be speaking to this theoretical person you created in your mind. You know, if it's men over 40 who are working professionals, what, what are they interested in? What are their frustrations? And, and so when you're creating content, you want to speak directly to that person. Um, whatever niche it is you come up with, whatever target audience you have, you want to be as specific as possible so that your content stands out, right? Basically, you know, 90% of people that see it are going to keep going, but that 10% that do and that it resonates with them, they're going to really dive in and be like, oh, this person is answering the questions I have. They're speaking to my frustrations, right? And so you really have to get clear on who your audience is and, and speak to them. Not learning about marketing. So when I first started marketing several years ago, I, I kind of thought that there were people out there who were marketing geniuses and and I could never be like them or learn anything like what they do. But the more I've studied it, the more I've realized that the best marketers are good at it because they practice it and they work at it and they've, they've developed that skill. And yes, they have a better sense of what works because they have experience, but they still test everything. Like they'll create... Um, a landing page that they think is going to work and they'll split test it and they'll, and they'll find a winner, split test that, find a winner, split test that, and they'll keep refining it and changing it and tweaking it um, until they find something that works pretty well before they spend any money on it. You know, same with ad copy, same with emails, you know, they're constant, they're, they're, they're good at it because they work at it because they test. And that's, that's the big difference. You know, it's not, it's not this unattainable skill that you're born with. It's a, a skill you can learn and get better at, but you have to work at it. Not being consistent. So this is definitely um, one of the top ones, I think, in any area of life. You know, if you want to get in shape, you have to work out consistently and eat healthy, right? If you want to learn guitar, you've got to consistently practice and, and learn. You know, anything you want to get better at, you have to consistently do. So whatever your schedule is, one blog a day, three blogs a week, you know, one video a week, two videos a week, whatever it is, come up with some schedule, you know, and you, and, you know, a lot of people get into this because they want no schedule and they want flexible time, but you still have to give yourself some sort of accountability, you know, where you, and you want some kind of routine where you work um, at a time that's convenient for you, but consistently every day doing a little bit of work moving forward. You got to keep at it. Um, and not let too much time slip by where you're not sending emails, you're not creating content, you're not placing ads. Um, you just got to be consistent. And then um, kind of a corollary to this a little bit is giving up too soon. 
uh, it takes time. You know, most businesses take three years to become profitable and you can do it faster than that. But, you know, some people are doing this in their spare time and they're working five hours a week. Other people are doing this 50 hours a week. You know, some people are trying to do it spending $100 a month. Other people are spending $1,000 a month. The speed you go at is going to depend on, you know, how much time and money you put into it, but also the quality of your content. But the thing is, no matter what you do and how much you do, it's going to take time, right? Especially if you're starting from zero. So the the main reason that people fail in online business is because they give up before they're successful. You know, it's not that they didn't run out of money. It's that they tried it for a while. They didn't get results and they said, oh, and they just, you know, either willfully gave up or just lost interest. And so you got to, you got to keep going. That's the main thing. Just keep going. And this is where it's really important to have a, a niche that you're passionate about because if you love it, you're going to keep doing it. Even if you're not getting paid, if you're not making money, you're going to keep doing it because it's fun. And, um, and then you also want to have a good support system. You know, people that are ahead of you a little bit, who've had success, who you can, you know, look to as examples and role models and learn from. And then, you know, you're going to pay it back to the other people that are starting off and you're going to help them learn. And then the number one reason is blocking your own success. And um, it sounds kind of counterintuitive. Like, why would you block your own success? Why would you get in your own way? And this is really um, the reason I became a coach is because I became aware of this. That, you know, people would come to me because they wanted a result. And I would share with them exactly what they needed to know and do, but they wouldn't do it. And I think, wait, you want this result. You know what to do, but you're not doing it. Like, that doesn't make sense. Why? You know, and obviously I do this in certain areas of my life. We all do. So you want to do that personal development, do that mindset work and, and dig into your your reasons for wanting your goals and make sure they're powerful reasons, reasons that are meaningful to you, not just about making money, because that really is not a worthwhile goal at all. You know, you'll give up on that. It's got to be a deeper meaning for you. And, and look at your limiting beliefs a lot of a, a lot of us grew up with very limiting beliefs around money you know that money is the root of all evil or that money doesn't grow on trees or that you know you know there's a lot of limiting beliefs we have or about that we're not good enough we don't deserve success there's a lot of things limiting beliefs people have and they don't they're not always obvious sometimes you just procrastinate and you're not sure why you know but they're really under the surface there's some limiting limiting belief that's holding you back so this is, you know, there's a lot of work to be done here. They, they say 80% of success is mindset because the strategies aren't that complicated. Like affiliate marketing, when you start learning about it, the business model itself, it's not super complicated. You know, there it does take time to get, you know, all your accounts, social media and different tools set up. It takes time to learn about your niche. It takes time to create content and build sort of a critical mass of content. You know, they say you want, 90 blogs 90 videos before google really starts to recognize you as an authority in that area um but it's not complicated the main thing is the reason people don't have more success is that they often block their own success through their own limiting beliefs so really can't emphasize this enough so my best advice is well first of all you have to make it fun um you know i talk a lot about putting in the work and um, you know, being consistent. But if you're if you're focused on a niche that you enjoy, and you're focused on serving your customers, um, it's actually fun. Like I I really love working. I, th I know that's kind of crazy to say. I I love doing the work, and I love sharing and learning. And so it's just I just have fun. And and if you if you make it fun, you're going to stick with it long enough where you're going to get results. And then find some training. Um, I've done a lot of different online courses and training. The best one I found is uh, the Entre Blueprint by Jeff Lerner. There's a link here if you click it below, and it'll there'll be a video of Jeff, and he'll kind of talk about it a little bit. And uh, it's really inexpensive kind of introductory training, but it'll give you a really clear and broad perspective about how to earn money online and, um, and what the different options are. And um, I've been following him and absorbing his content for some time, and I, I really highly recommend it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And um, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. And we will talk soon.